is Navy Pier. Can't even see it because we're here on the red light, but that AV is meant for Navy Pier. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. For you that are new here, hi, my name is Victoria. And for today's video, I am gonna be checking out the Sable Hotel at Navy Pier. This hotel is brand new. It just opened up in March of this year. It was a bit pricey. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna go over all the prices and let you guys know if it's worth it or not. I'm gonna check out the rooms. I'm gonna try to film uh, the amenities if they let me, but I think they might not. But I'm gonna do my best to film as much as I can. So let's get started with today's adventure. Okay guys, hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, came to get the bags. Now we are on our way to walk to the front area. Let's go check in and see our room. I'm really excited. There's supposed to be fireworks today also. This is why I wanted to come on a Saturday. All right guys, so there is the entrance. So I really thought you could come in through the main like front area and like park your car, but I guess not. So that's where we came through, but we had to go back around and go to the first garage. So note to self, if you guys do come, you guys have to park at the last parking area you see. So it's gonna be East parking lot. That's where you park for this hotel. Ooh, look how pretty it looks. Wow, this is gorgeous. Wow, and that's the front area. Okay guys, hopefully you guys can hear me. Got the key, Ooh, so excited. So she said that all rooms have fireworks views. Today there will be fireworks, so I'm looking forward to that. So now we're walking all the way down the hall because she said it's the last elevator down, so can't wait to get up there. Yeah? Where's the what? Oh. The, the rides to the pier? Yeah, the rides so at the pier, I'm sorry, you know where it is. Like they were asking us about the rides and I was like, the what? I was like, what? I couldn't hear them because of the mask. They just needed direction on how to get to the rides of Navy Pier. They're like in the wrong side of the, the pier because it's like they're all the way in the end. All right, here is our elevator and we are in, we're on the third floor, so. It is going up. Okay, so. We're gonna hit the fourth floor just to see. Oh, that's right. You have to scan the card and then four. There you go. Okay, so we are three, four, four, one. Wow, look at the hall. Talk about pretty. Three. Okay, so I think we're all the way at the end because these numbers are three, three, four. No, three, four, six, no, wait, three, four, three, six. Ugh, stumbling in my words, guys. Woo, this is us. Wait, am I having trouble? Oh, there you go, right now. Wow, look at the room. Wow, shut up. Wow, this is beautiful. You guys, this room is freaking amazing. Wow. Okay. I have the view of a cruise ship, the lake, the city, people. Wow. Look at the view. You guys, I can't wait for it to be 9 p.m. and then the fireworks going. Wow. The room is freaking gorgeous. This is beautiful. Wow, look at this freaking bathroom. This is gorge. Wow. Look at the bathroom. And the mirror. This is beautiful. Ooh, they have a cute little vanity mirror for you. Can this turn on? Oh, wait. Oh, I was turning it on wrong. Ooh, three lights. Cool white, warm white, another light. <laughs> wow, but look at the bathroom. You guys, what? Oh, how do you open this? Oh, in this way. Wow, look at this bathroom. Wow. I kind of want to turn it on to see water pressure, but I'm going to get wet. Let me see if I can turn it on without getting wet. Can you guys see me? Okay, let me turn it on to see the water pressure. Ooh. Can you guys 
See that? Wow. Look at the water. I mean, I've seen better water pressure, but that's still not bad water pressure. Let me just turn it off now. Okay. Wow. Now let's check the sink water pressure. Wow, that's some good water pressure. It's amazing. You guys, this room is just freaking amazing. I can't freaking wait for tonight. I just can't wait. All right, you guys, the room is amazing. The view is spectacular. The decor is beautiful. So far right now, it is gorge. Um, let me show you guys all the little cute stuff that I see as far as like the fridge and all that stuff. So let me show you the little cute things that this room has. So here is the TV. Here's a cute little dresser, but in the dresser, we have cooler. See the size of it? It's like a decent size. I guess your regular standard cooler size. Uh, here's the drawer. Drawer two. Here we have the thermometer, I guess. I'm not entirely sure if this is what you would call it, but we would control, you know, the heater and the AC. Here we have our cute little coffee station. So they give you some coffee, Keurig. Let's see what kind of... So we have English breakfast, black tea, green tea, some creamers, disposable cups for your coffee. And then here you have this cute little tray for like, you know, breakfast mornings. You just order your food and then, you know, put it here. Ice bucket. Here is the bed, just pretty cute. I really thought that this room was gonna have like room service, but I guess not. Uh, in the main entrance, they do have a restaurant, so I think that's where, you know, you would have to order your food um, and then eat down there. Or maybe you could bring it up here, who knows. So here's the phone. I guess you can call front desk, which is pretty weird looking phone. I'm not sure what the hell this is. I don't know if this is supposed to be an Alexa or whatnot, but you can charge your phone, timer, nightstand. And then the drawer comes with a safe. I don't have anything that expensive on me, so we'll not be needing that. Um, you guys already saw the bathroom. They have this cute mirror. See this cute mirror, guys? And then here is a cute little closet. Um, let's see. They have an iron, iron board. I guess you can put shoes here or your bags. Let's see. They have this bottom drawer. Ooh, have more blankets. More blankets. Okay. All right guys, so we looked at the phone and tried to locate a restaurant that we want to order from, but we couldn't find anything that we wanted. So what we've just decided to do is um, we're just gonna go out of the room and then go to the like fronter area of Baby Pier and see what other restaurants um, they have to order from. But you know what, before we do that, I'm gonna call guest services just to make sure that they don't have room service. Hmm, it's just beeping. For some reason, this thing is just beeping. Um, okay, I'm gonna, okay, wait. Okay, and then click guest services. Oh, there you go, it's ringing. It's just ringing right now. They weren't that busy, so why is it still ringing? Hello? Oh, I thought they answered. <laughs> they didn't. Hmm. Yeah, hi. Do you guys um, have room service available or no? You do not? So the... Oh, so, but if we were to place an order in the restaurant in the main entrance, can we bring it up to our room? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so it is confirmed, guys. This hotel does not offer room service. However, in the main entrance, uh, main lobby, they have a restaurant, and she just said that we can order food and then bring it up to her room. 
but that is not what we want so we're gonna go to the front area of the navy pier and then check out the restaurants and see what we end up with Alright you guys, so we're back in the room. What you just saw was outside of Navy Pier. We decided just to walk around and see how outdoor, you know, how it looked outside. It was beautiful. The skyline looks amazing. It just sucks that the food court was closed. A lot of those restaurants are just closed, obviously because of COVID. They just had to close down. I'm not sure when they're going to open back up. Um, so it is, what time is it? It's 8.26, can you guys see that? 8.26. We had to come back to the room right away because we want to see the fireworks. I cannot wait to see how the fireworks look. I really hope it's worth it. Um, so stay tuned for the fireworks, guys. Stay tuned, don't go away. All right, you guys, so it's 8.59. Now we're just waiting to see where the fireworks are gonna come out of, or I guess get blown up from, or whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Oh, there they go. They're announcing it. Can you guys hear the announcement? Okay. Oh, wow, it's right here. So where are they getting? Oh, I had no idea. Look, they're coming from that boat. What? No freaking way. Look at that. Wow. All right, guys, so those were the fireworks. It was amazing. It was an amazing view, guys. I actually didn't think we were gonna be looking that way. I thought we were gonna be angle looking towards the skyline. Uh, let me show you guys what I, what I mean. You see how um, this looks? So I thought we were gonna be 
looking at the fireworks from this angle at the skyline, but we were actually right here looking straight that way. It was so cool though. We had an amazing view. Also, I had no idea that the fireworks were shooting off of a boat. I didn't know that. I thought they were going to get shoot off by like, like that pier or there's like a pier out or like further out of the lake from maybe pier. It's like, it's just like a straight path. And I thought that's where they were going to go off, but no, it was off. They were going off from a boat. So I was just like, Whoa, I didn't know that, but we are starving. We're going to go look for something to eat and we might catch up with you guys either later tonight. or we might just see you guys in the morning. Not sure just yet, but we need to order food. Put the pod. Brew. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Sorry, I didn't vlog yesterday. We ended up getting Uber Eats because we just didn't want to walk further down to Navy Pier and um, wait in line to get seated and then get food. But um, anyways, the next day, next morning, um, beautiful view. But I'm gonna let you guys know if I think it's worth it to stay here. So let's start off with the price first. So the prices do vary on the day that you decide to stay here. Obviously on a weekend it's gonna be more expensive because they do um, fireworks on Saturday or at least the month of May they're doing fireworks every Saturday. I'm not sure how June or July is gonna look. Just letting you guys know for the month of May. Every Saturday they're doing fireworks. So obviously on the weekend it's gonna be more expensive. Um, so when I booked this room it cost me $289 on a Saturday, but that does not include taxes or parking. Parking in Navy Pier, you have to pay by the hour or by the day. I'm not entirely sure if you could pay with the receptionist, but she was just like, are you guys gonna stay in or are you guys gonna be driving out? We just said we we're gonna stay in. And she just said basically, oh, you guys can pay on your way out, like when we're driving out of the parking lot. So we'll see, I guess we'll just pay it in the machine. But 289 plus tax. And the parking fee, I think I'm looking at 350 something, 360 something. I don't remember the numbers exactly, but I'll make sure to, to put it right here. But then also they do charge you for a $75 hold when you stay, just in case any damages, but if no damages, you get that refunded back. So I don't anticipate that being um, taken away from me. I'm pretty sure they're gonna give it back to me. Now. As far as the aesthetic and the decor in this place, it's amazing. I really liked it. It's all brand new, so obviously it all looks amazing. I really feel what is amazing about this room is the view and the fireworks. It was just so beautiful. It was so close. And it, honestly, I would never forget this. It is definitely an experience that you guys will never forget. Now, would I come back here and stay again? Uh, probably not just because I live around the area I'll probably just come and like see the fireworks from outside but for you there are not from here or even if you are around here I definitely do recommend it as a one night uh, stay or just a weekend because you're never gonna forget it honestly I'm never gonna forget this experience I really feel like I should have done this for my mom for Mother's Day but it's okay because for my mom and my dad I am working really hard on something for them that I'm trying to do for the holidays so stay tuned for that mom don't ask me any question what it is i'm just gonna do it and i think it's something that you're really gonna enjoy but anyways sidetracking um, what i what i would say i didn't like is the fact that you can't order food to get it delivered here from like the downstairs restaurant you know other restaurants or i mean i'm sorry other hotels you can order room service yeah just room service um and they don't have that here if you want to eat uh, food you have to go downstairs to the uh, restaurant which is located in the main lobby um, they did say that you are allowed to go downstairs order food and bring it up here but as far as like you know having someone come up here and bring you the food it just was not available so that was a down downer honestly and then also before the fireworks which they started at 9 we were really trying to get some food but when we went downstairs and tried to like order it took us like 15 minutes like in line and then we were barely getting even close to the host so we were like oh we have to go back to the room because we want to make sure we make it in time for the fireworks so i will say as a recommendation if you 
are coming here on a weekend where there's fireworks and you guys want to see them from your room definitely get food way before like nine o'clock like you should start looking for food around seven um, or even 6 30 if you want to dine in somewhere and then come back and enjoy the fireworks because if you try to go around eight o'clock you there is a high chance that you're going to miss the fireworks um, so that's a downfall right there as far as no room service available and then we couldn't order food ahead of time to pick it up because we tried calling a few restaurants that were like a three minute walk from this hotel room and it was like no we can't take your order you're gonna have to come in and be seated so that was the unfortunate part um but then also uh i'm not sure if you guys when you travel you like to bring your laptops and then connect it to the tv just to like you know stream movies that you guys have available in your computer we were trying to do that here but when we connected our laptops and try to see a movie in the tv we just couldn't for some reason we just couldn't change it to a different output we just couldn't we had all the connections and we do this all the time so i'm a little like uh why couldn't we change the output it was like weird it's okay they have cable they had bravo they had hbo um, they had netflix um so i was just being a little picky because I, I tend to like to watch certain movies when i'm on vacation but it's okay so overall i do recommend uh people to come here and check this hotel out it's really nice it's brand new just opened in march view was amazing oh and also another recommendation is bring snacks with you bring uh, drinks with you because there is no soda machines in any of the floors there is like a little um there's like a there it's not a stand but they by the reception area they do have like a cooler where you can buy waters or drinks or some snacks but it is pretty expensive we bought four waters last night and i think the total was like 11 or 12 dollars for four bottles of waters i was like oh my god that's ridiculous so i definitely do recommend if you guys are going to come here bring snacks and your own drinks um you have a cooler in the room so you put those away um but yeah other than that i think i went through everything um oh lastly i'm gonna show you guys something so do you guys remember when I was showing you guys this thing and I was like, what the hell is that? Is that an Alexa? Okay, I had no idea that it came with chargers. It had a charger already for my freaking iPhone and my iPhone died. So it has a charger for an iPhone and I think for like an Android. Yeah, I haven't had an Android in such a long time. So I think this is for an Android, I'm not sure. But um, if you guys do forget your chargers, room comes with an iphone and i think an android or maybe a samsung i'm not entirely sure but iphone people there's a charger here available for you if you forget it in your car or at home all right guys so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it ask me any questions in the comments below if there's anything i forgot to go over or i forgot to mention but yeah like always don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one 